Who is Jeremiah Wicks? Jeremiah Wicks, J E R E M I A H, capital W I C K S. Um, Jeremiah Wicks is a hard worker. I try to go to base or Christian school. I don't let nobody outwork me. I'm always thinking I'm the best on the court. I'm always knowing I'm the best on the court. And I have a lot of confidence in myself. You better move. That was before I had internet. Ooh, you better move. Oh, 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 you better move. 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 Louis my shoes. Pull out my whip. On 22s, I saw your girl, I had to scoop Just like a bird, she gonna swoop Neck is hot too, might catch the flu Banana clip, straight from the zoo Well, I'm located at Pickup USA right now in Tampa, Florida uh, Woke up, 6.30, arrived here at 7.30, started work out at 8 Got me some good cardio in And everything, I'm just gonna take it with some one step at a time until game day So what you got here today on um, today's workout? Uh, early morning grind, made the call up, just trying to get in for everybody else. Dripping on that 19, 20, 20 twins. <laughs> My son just turned 20. <laughs> My son just turned 20. Yeah. He's a junior in college. Yeah, exactly. And will graduate this year. Exactly. So he'll be 20 with a degree already. Now you can go play. Yeah. Go do what you want to do now. Okay. Right. And we're sending the wrong message, and then we got a bunch of these kids out here lost after that reclassification. And you're now you're 20 years old trying to go to school, find some place to go, find the direction your life is in when you could have been already preparing yourself for the future. Big time, man. A lot of them. Yeah. Reclassification is benefiting these coaches, not benefiting these kids, man. Five, six, 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 seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, twenty, six, eight, 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 six, Coach Mike, uh, he killed me, like always, he killed me. Uh, did three laps, got on the bike, uh, some dribbling drills, advanced dribbling drills that's gonna help me in the game when I'm playing against guards, good guards that is. And shooting, gotta work on my shooting still and whatever. And yeah, he just killed me, basically. Is that like a normal everyday basis for him or? Yeah, kill. What practice start? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Alright, we ready right now. We ready. We ready. We ready. Let's go. You wanna play with me? I got you now. We're gonna block now. We're gonna block now. Yeah, you wanna play games? I'm gonna play with you. Let's hit it. Let's go. Let's go. Fish, fish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two teams. Two teams. Two teams. Eighteen. There you go. Plus. Plus. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Bam. I don't play no game. What? It's the difference if you playing in Florida College or you playing in Florida State. Now, now we can work out. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That's what the fuck. 
problem is. Previously, my mindset is to kill, kill everything in sight, play team basketball. My goal is to lead my team to Lakeland, period. I just got to do what I got to do to get a win, play good defense, get out, give out assists, give out buckets, and be in shape. But carry my team to wins each and every game, give them my all. You need to be haul and tail getting down the floor. The person with the ball should not beat you down the floor. You must turn. You must make that person turn three times. You must make him turn three times. You have here is out of bounds. Here is out of bounds. Make sure I'm free, make sure I'm free. One, two, three, make sure. 
Yeah, it was good. This is Jeremiah Wicks at the barbershop, Fade Masters. Just about to get this. Oh, just about to get this haircut for the first game. Real excited. And let's go. Who y'all playing? Oh, we playing uh, Robinson. <laughs> the Knights, the Knights, the Knights. We playing Robinson. Okay, okay. Can't wait for them, bro. Gotta get the fresh cut. This ain't cut it right now. That must be the right, right? sexier yeah. video. <laughs> this ain't cut it right now, bro. It, it, ain't, it ain't cheap, though. Dang. What you get? You gonna show the people what you get? Oh, okay, okay. A little preview. My favorite person. I'm getting that Corey Sanders. Yeah. Uh, that Corey. That drop favorite oh, part. Getting the wave again. Oh, yeah, that's my barber right here, bro. Anyway, so, yeah, it should be packed. So. Yeah, Talk about your thousand points. Um, I'm really excited to get it. I'm really excited, especially after all that I've gone through. It's gonna be like a big achievement for me. So I feel like I'm a guy. Like, I'm all the oh, No, I can't, bro. Yeah. How many points you got left? I can't, bro. Maybe 23. Yeah, you know why, right? You, you know why? Y'all well rounded this year. Huh? Well rounded. Team. You like new additions? Oh, yes, yes. We don't look way better than we did last year. <laughs> no shade to my place <laughs> last year. <laughs>
<laughs> that just hit me the hardest. I, there's not there's not anything I can really say to describe what I felt when I got injured this year, my senior year. Of course, my worst injury was my senior year because it's my last year to prove what I can do on the court. I've already had a couple injuries before this, so it's just like I'm, I got something to prove. So for me to get injured my last year of high school, it really hurt. It really hurt. Um, it was difficult for me to get through. So yeah, that was the biggest one. For me, um, I'm a verbal leader off the court and on the court. So me being off the court, me telling my teammates, you know, what to do in critical situations, me keeping their hands up, me just encouraging them to keep fighting, never give up. And like I said, I'm a leader, so it, it helped a lot because we made it to state, so I believe it helped a lot. Before the injury, I, my mind was set on getting at least five scholarships for basketball, um, reaching the 1,000 point mark for my school, um, leading my team to a state championship, but they got there without my physical Enjoying my senior year on the court, of course. So, right now, um, I'm sort of into the same thing that the Buckets doing. I feel like each kid should have some exposure. So, I like filming and I like editing videos for people. And I just want to motivate people, you know, and tell them to never give up. And that we're here for y'all in Tampa. So, <laughs> that's, that's the game right now.